हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैनल टुडेज टॉपिक इज इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव इक्वेशन इट इज रिलेटेड टू इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव थेरी एज वेल एज यूनिफॉर्म प्लेन वेव नाउ फॉर दिस वी नीड अ मैक्सुअल इक्वेशन फॉर फ्री स्पेस दिस इज द सेट ऑफ मैक्सुअल इक्वेशन फॉर द फ्री स्पेस नंबर वन टू थ्री फोर यू नीड टू मेमराइज दिस मैक्सुअल इक्वेशन If you haven't yet watched the earlier video of Maxwell's equation, do watch it. Presently, for this derivation, we need this uh, set, this set of Maxwell's equation, which is the set for free space. Now we need two more vector identities. One is del cross del cross e bar. Before that, when you write del cross of any vector, it indicates curl operation. So del cross means curl. If you write del dot of any vector, it is representing divergence operation. So two terms we are discussing. One is curl, that is del cross. Another is divergence, that is del dot. So one vector identity we need for this derivation is del cross del cross e bar. Two times cross product is there. Del cross del cross e bar is del into del dot e bar. Keep in mind this is del into normal multiplication. Del dot e bar minus del square e bar. Same thing can be written in terms of h bar. just in place of e bar i have written h bar that's it so if you know these four equations and this vector identity you can well derive the uh, this derivation but 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 very important part is that strictly follow the things what i'm saying it will make the calculation very easy i will be telling you simple tricks to generate this derivation first step is these are the four four maxwell equation first we will differentiate equation 2 with respect to time now for completing the derivation we need to make use of equations 1 and 2 out of that i am taking derivative of equation 2 so differentiate equation 2 with respect to time that means we have to perform operation dabba by dabba t it is very much similar to d by dt it, it's a small derivative derivative so it is dabba by dabba t so for equation 2 i can write it like this dabba by dabba t of lhs term that is del cross h bar is equals to dabba square by dabba t square of d bar here we have dabba by dabba t already one term is there and again i am taking derivative so it becomes dabba square by dabba t square d bar now at this stage itself <coughs> will uh, start simplifying the equation we know the well known identity d bar is epsilon 0 e bar d bar is electric flux density epsilon 0 is permittivity of free space e bar is electric field intensity so in place of d bar i can put epsilon 0 e bar this value i can put in place of d bar and one very important concept this del is a vector operator which is derivative with respect to x y and z that means that it is derivative with respect to distance dabba by dabba t is derivative with respect to time so we can well interchange del and dabba by dabba t this is just for mathematical simplification so i will write it like this dabba by dabba t of h bar what i did i have simply interchanged del and dabba by dabba t so del is taken out del cross dabba by dabba t of h bar is equals to what i said in place of d bar i need to put epsilon 0 e bar But epsilon zero is constant, can be taken outside the derivative side. So I will write it like this: epsilon zero, dabba square by dabba t square of e bar. This is say equation number five because I have written these four equations as a Maxwell's equation. So this is equation number five. What I did up till now: differentiated equation two, simplified it, and and in place of d bar, I put epsilon zero e bar. Epsilon is constant, so taken out. This is equation number five. next as i said we have to just make use of equations 1 and 2 so i made use of equation 2 because i differentiated that equation next is take curl of equation 1 so take curl of equation 1 taking curl means del cross operation so taking curl means del cross of that term so we will take curl of equation 1 so it is del cross del cross e bar is equals to minus del cross dabba b bar by dabba t what i did i am making use of equation 1 del cross del cross e bar is equals to minus n is taken out then del cross dabba b bar by dabba t 
again like the previous case what we did here in place of d bar i put epsilon 0 a bar same way here i have b bar we know the well known formula b bar is mu 0 h bar mu 0 is permeability of the free space h bar is magnetic field intensity so in place of b bar i will be putting this value and for LHS side, we have already written one vector identity. We have to make use of this vector identity. So LHS sign becomes del into del dot E bar minus del square E bar is equals to minus. This mu zero, I am taking it outside. So mu zero del cross dabba H bar by dabba T. Now, very important concept. Look at equation number 3. What we did up till now, we have made use of equations 1 and 2 for the calculation. Just for the simplicity, we will make use of equation number 3 and 4. So, from equation 3, we have del dot d bar is equals to 0. But, just now we discussed d bar is epsilon 0 e bar. So, this can be written as del dot epsilon 0 e bar is equals to 0. If I will transfer epsilon 0 at the RHS, it becomes 0. Therefore, we can write del dot e bar is equals to 0. So, in place of first term, we have del dot e bar. So, it is 0. So, I will cancel out this term. Now, both sides, we have minus sign. So minus minus become plus. So at this stage itself, I will make it plus because both sides we have minus sign. Since it is plus sign, I can well remove this sign. This term is already cancelled. So I will delete this term. So this is the remaining equation. Now, how to think further? We are deriving a wave equation. First part is we want wave equation in terms of E1. That means every term must be in terms of E1. NHS term is in terms of E1. I want RHS also to be in terms of E1. What to do? For that, we have equation number 5. In place of del cross dabba h bar by dabba t, this, I can well put this value which is in terms of E bar. So, last step is del square E bar is equals to mu 0 epsilon 0. What I am doing in place of del cross dabba by dabba t of h bar, del cross dabba h bar by dabba t, I am putting this value. Mu 0 is already there. It becomes mu 0 epsilon 0 dabba square by dabba t square of E bar. This is one Maxwell's uh, one wave equation for free space. Remember the procedure. What we did, we took differentiation of equation 2. We simplified it. We took curl of equation 1. We simplified it. And after differentiating equation 2, whatever result we got, we put it in equation 1. So final equation is this. Second equation, this is wave equation in terms of E bar because both sides I have E bar. I need to generate equation in terms of D bar. Just now we discussed this identity. D bar is epsilon 0 E bar. That means E bar is D bar upon epsilon 0. So E bar is D bar upon epsilon 0. Now in the final equation, wherever E bar is there, I can well put directly D bar upon epsilon 0. So this in place of E bar, I can write D bar upon epsilon 0. In place of this E bar also, I can write D bar upon epsilon 0. Both sets will get upon epsilon 0. So epsilon 0 gets cancelled. Simple trick. To write the gen, uh, uh, second equation, you can directly do it. In place of D bar, in place of E bar, just put D bar. That's it. This is second wave equation for the free space, which is in terms of D bar. What we did up till now, we have calculated equations in terms of E bar and D bar. How we did it? By differentiating equation 2 and taking curl of equation 1. Now, for the second set, do remember the procedure. What we did up till now? We have calculated equation in terms of E bar and equation in terms of D bar. What we are supposed to do? Now we want equation in terms of H bar and equation in terms of B bar. Very much similar to the first part. Just remember the procedure. In first part we differentiated equation 2. We took curl of equation 1. Now interchange the order. That means how can I write? I will differentiate equation 1. Earlier what I did? I took differentiation of equation 2. Now I am interchanging the things. Differentiate equation 1 with respect to time like the previous case. So it becomes dabba by dabba t 
of del cross E bar is equals to minus daba square by daba t square of B bar. Very simple, minus sign is already there, daba by daba t is already there, so it becomes daba square by daba t square of B bar. At the LHS we have del cross E bar, so daba by daba t of del cross E bar. All the things are similar to the previous part. At this stage itself, we will make the simplification, we know B bar is mu 0 H bar. Mu 0 is constant, can be taken out. Similarly, this del and daba by daba t can be interchanged, so it is written like this, del cross daba by daba t of E bar is equals to minus mu 0 daba square by daba t square of H bar. Very much similar to the earlier part, only notations are changed. Now, this is one equation which we got after a uh, differentiating equation 1. Let us say this is equation number uh, 6. Now, after differentiating equation 1, remaining part is take curl of equation 2. Taking curl means del cross. So, I will write it like this. Del cross, del cross h bar. We already del cross h bar. I am taking del cross of this equation. So, it becomes del cross del cross h bar is equals to del cross daba d bar by daba t. Again, like the previous case, at the LHS, we have to make use of this identity. So, at the LHS, I will write del into del dot h bar minus del square h bar is equals to at the RHS, we have D bar term. This D bar can be written as epsilon 0 E bar, like the previous case. D bar is epsilon 0 E bar. Epsilon 0 is constant, can be taken out. So, this term becomes epsilon 0 del cross daba E bar by daba T. Now, keep in mind, I want equation in terms of E bar C. The first term is del dot h bar look at equation number four we have del dot b bar is zero but b bar is mu zero h bar so it can be written as del dot mu zero h bar is equals to zero this mu zero can be transferred at the rhs so it becomes del dot h bar is equals to zero that means first term gets cancelled now i want everything in terms of every term which should contain h bar at the LHS we have h bar at the RHS again we want h bar so make use of equation 6 over here so this term of uh, which is in terms of e bar can be converted into h bar so I am putting this value in place of del cross dava e bar by dava t so next term can be written as minus del square h bar this minus sign I have taken it as it is is equals to this is minus mu 0 and this is epsilon 0 so it becomes minus mu 0 epsilon 0 daba square by daba t square of h bar very simple step both sets contains minus term so it becomes plus so this is the third maxwell equation or wave equation for the free space which is in terms of h bar now like the previous case i want to write equation in terms of b bar we know that B bar is mu 0 H bar. That means wherever H bar is there, I can put B bar upon mu 0. So this H bar will be replaced by B bar upon mu 0. Similarly, this H bar will be replaced by B bar upon mu 0. So finally, 1 upon mu 0 over here as well as uh, upon mu 0 at the RHS just gets cancelled. So simple trick in place of H bar directly write B bar. So this is the fourth equation wave equation for the free space this is the complete set of wave equations for the free space next derivation is what we did we uh, derived the wave equation for free space next set is wave equations for conductors dear students if you can derive wave equation for free space you can well derive wave equation for conductor using the same technique technique remains same Take derivative of one equation, take curl of uh, another equation. Only difference is that this term in equation 2 is added term which is j bar. j bar is called as current density. And do remember one common equation j bar is sigma e bar. Sigma is called as conductivity. e bar is electric field intensity. 
remaining procedure is same so how to start first differentiate equation 2 like the earlier derivation with respect to time so i will get dabba by dabba t of del cross h bar is equals to dabba by dabba t of j bar plus dabba square by dabba t square of d bar I have took differentiation of uh, each term with respect to dabba by dabba t. Now, in place of j bar, put sigma e bar, this. As well as d bar is replaced by epsilon e bar. Everything is same, only one term is added. And j bar will be replaced by sigma e bar. Then, this del and dabba by dabba t should be interchanged. So, I will write it like this. Del cross dabba by dabba t of h bar is equals to dabba by dabba t of sigma e bar plus dabba square by dabba t square of epsilon e bar. One correction, d bar is epsilon 0 e bar only for free space. For any other medium like for conductor it is only epsilon not epsilon 0. So epsilon e bar. Now we have interchanged this order one more simplification we can do at this stage so dabba h bar by dabba t is this sigma is constant can be taken out so it becomes sigma dabba by dabba t of e bar plus epsilon is again constant can be taken out epsilon dabba square by dabba t square of e bar say equation number five what we did we took differentiation of equation two same way take curl of equation one so take curl of 1 that means i will write del cross del cross e bar is equals to minus del cross dabba b bar by dabba t this minus side is already there i am taking del cross now like the previous part for this i need to make use of this identity so it becomes del into del dot e bar minus del square e bar is equals to this b bar we know that b bar is mu h bar if it is free space then only mu 0 h bar and mu can be taken out so it becomes minus mu del cross dabba h bar by dabba t like the previous case since del dot d bar is 0 this del dot e bar is also 0 so it is neglected both sides contains minus sign it becomes plus now I want everything in terms of e bar so I will replace this term by equation 5 so next term can be written as del square e bar is equals to mu sigma I'm directly putting this value over here mu sigma dabba by dabba t of e bar plus mu epsilon dabba square by dabba t square of e bar very simple very much similar to the earlier derivation only one term is extra this is the wave equation for conductors in terms of e bar now but we want to generate one more equation in terms of d bar like the last case simply replace e bar by d bar that's it this will be the second equation wave equation for conductors in terms of d bar what we did we took differentiation of equation 2 and we took curl of equation 1 next we have to do it in reverse way so now differentiate equation one so let us solve the next part so that is we have to take differentiation of equation one so i will be doing it like this we have to just do the derivation in the reverse way so differentiate equation one so if you take differentiation of equation one it becomes dabba by dabba t of del cross e bar is equals to minus dabba square by dabba t square of b bar from the first step itself go on simplifying it b bar is equals to mu h bar so i'll replace b bar by mu h bar this del and dabba by dabba t can be interchanged so it becomes del cross dabba e bar by dabba t is equals to minus mu dabba square by dabba t square of h bar say equation number six next 
Since we have taken differentiation of equation 1, we have to take curl of equation 2. Curl means del cross. So, take curl of equation 2. So, this equation can be written as del cross del cross h bar is equals to del cross j bar plus del cross del bar d bar by del bar d. Now same thing, we have to make use of this identity j bar is sigma e bar as well as d bar is epsilon e bar. Then at the LHS, like the previous case, we have to make use of the identity, this identity. So it can be written as del into del dot h bar minus del square h bar is equals to. And putting j bar is equals to sigma a bar. Sigma is constant, can be taken out. So it becomes sigma del cross e bar. Plus, this d bar is epsilon e bar. Epsilon can be taken out. So it becomes epsilon del cross da bar e bar by da bar t. Now, important thing. This term, like the previous case, del dot b bar is 0. So del dot h bar is also 0. This gets cancelled. I want everything in terms of h bar. So, for this term, del cross dia by e bar by dia bar t, I can well put this value over here. So, first let us simplify this uh, step. So, I will write it like this. Minus del square h bar is equal to sigma del cross e bar plus epsilon is there and this is minus sign so it becomes minus mu epsilon dava square by dava t square of h bar now very important remaining part we want everything in terms of h bar this term is del cross e bar i need to convert it in terms of e bar look at equation number one this is del cross e bar is minus dava by dava t of b bar and b bar is mu h bar. So, this same equation I can write it as del cross e bar is equals to minus mu dava h bar by dava t. What I did in place of b bar, I put mu h bar, so minus mu dava h bar by dava t. That means a simple logic, this term can be written as minus del square h bar is equals to sigma is already there i am putting this value minus mu sigma in place of del cross e bar i have to put daba h bar by daba t minus mu epsilon daba square by daba t square of h bar everywhere there is a minus sign you can well convert it in terms of plus sign this is the well equation in terms of h bar last step simply we want to generate the fourth equation that is wave equation in terms of b bar we know that b bar is mu 0 h bar that means h bar is b bar upon mu mu so very simple from the exam point of view directly you can replace h bar by b bar so wherever h bar is there directly write b bar this is the fourth equation for the conductor so that's it for today's video. I know it's a somewhat lengthy video, but these two are much important derivation. Follow this uh, procedure uh, strictly so that the derivations will be simple. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you very much.